because I have to check the, the sound. Oh, can you hear me? I can hear you very good. One more time. Hello? One more time. Hello? <laughs> <laughs> My father passed away, um, I don't remember, but I think 2002. I want to remember him as a, as a good man, because he was a good man as far as I can remember. He was a good father. My mom, uh, my mother, was sick with uh, leg cancer, and she also had HIV and AIDS. She lost her job because she couldn't work anymore and she was sick constantly. And sometimes it was difficult to go to school too because she didn't have any uh, finance anymore. So she decided to go seek for help, social workers at the hospital when she used to go get her medicine. So one day she came home and she said, um, um, we are going somewhere better and you'll be able to go to school so that really made me happy and then I became part of all village, me and my brother yes it was really hard because I'm not an open person so it was really hard the new beginnings I don't deal so much well with I would have nightmares wake up in the middle of the night and scream I can still remember but as years pass I came, became to love Hope Village and all the kids there. It's wonderful. So, yeah, yeah it became better with time. I was going through a hard time when my mom passed away. So, and I was rude with one of the parents at Hope Village and she spoke to me. I thought she was going to scold me out because I was really wrong. But she, the, gave, the love that she gave me and how she approached me, it was so incredible. So she, I, I don't know how to put it in words. She's just an amazing person. And I wouldn't ask for a better mother. <laughs> As uh, Marike is my inspiration, and I also love kids, so I would like to help out more. Yes, I want to be part of it because I grew up there, and I always say there is no a better place than hope. So it's where I found hope, and I'll give hope. <laughs> Ik ontmoette Selma tijdens een van mijn eerste reizen bij Hope Village in Namibië. Dankzij Hope Village en Orange Babies heeft haar leven een positieve wending gekregen. En is ze vorig jaar getrouwd met de liefde van haar leven en had ze de bruiloft waar veel meisjes van dromen. Ik mocht daarbij zijn en heb haar trouwvideo gemaakt. Dit wat u nu gaat zien had nooit kunnen gebeuren als er geen mensen hadden opgestaan om dit meisje een eerlijke start in het leven te geven. Samen kunnen we de wereld mooi maken. Dankjewel. Husband and wife.